Are you launching a new business or maybe you already have an existing business but you don't have the funds to invest in a email service provider like Google Workspace, Outlook for Business, Yahoo and other paid email services to set up your business emails? Well today I'm excited to walk you through the process of creating free business emails with Zoho Mail. Hey team, Stuart here, welcome along, I hope you're all doing well. Now today we're going to launch into a Zoho Mail tutorial for beginners. This tutorial is designed for small businesses looking to set up and create up to five professional business emails completely for free. Okay, so before we set up your business emails with Zoho Mail, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to grow your small business online. And with that quick note out of the way, let's go ahead and create up to five professional business emails with Zoho Mail. <music> Okay, so without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and create up to five professional free business emails for your organization. Now, the first thing we need to do is head over to zoho.com forward slash mail. And that's going to take you to this Zoho Mail webpage. Now, you can also click the link below this video in the description, and that's also going to take you here. Now, it's important to note that if you decide to use the link in the description, then we will get a small commission if you decide to upgrade to a paid plan in the future. And this just helps continue to support our channel, so thank you in advance. Okay, so once you've arrived at Zoho Mail, simply navigate up to pricing. And under pricing, what we want to do is scroll past the paid plans until you find this free plan over here. And as you can see with the free plan, we can have up to five users and each user receives five gigabytes of storage and can upload attachments of up to 25 megabytes. And we also have access to other Zoho applications. Now we believe that this free plan is more than sufficient enough for small businesses with up to five users that need to have access to email because the majority of small businesses only need one single domain. Now it's important to note that you still need your own professional domain. If you don't already have a domain, then we'll show you how and where you can purchase your own domain name. And having a professional business domain name is important for every business. Okay, so we'll talk more about domains shortly. Now, what we want to do is get started. So simply navigate up to sign up and click here. This is where we want to add our name, email address or phone number and then our password. So we're going to go ahead and quickly add our details now. Okay, so once you've gone ahead and added your name, your personal email or phone number, and you've added a password, come down here and agree to the terms of service and privacy policy. Feel free to click on terms of service and privacy policy to briefly read over those, and then come down and click sign up. And here, depending on if you added your email address or phone number, you will receive a verification OTP. So go ahead and locate that and then come down and add that in here. And then once you've added your verification code, come down and click verify. And welcome to Zoho Mail. Now the first step to setting up our account is coming down and adding an existing domain. So come down and click add now. And up here, what we want to do is add our existing domain name and our organization name. Now, like I mentioned earlier, if you don't currently own a domain name, then you will need to purchase one for your organization if you want to set up business emails. And for this tutorial, there are two places that we recommend you purchase your domain. The first is onlydomains.com. This is a great place that you can quickly purchase a domain name. And then with onlydomains.com, we're going to walk you through the process in this tutorial, how you can set up your email with your domain name. 
and this process is slightly technical and can be daunting however we're going to take your hand and slowly walk you through that process now the other option is purchasing a domain name from hostpuppet.com we'll leave all the links below this video in the description now hostpuppet is our number one domain and web hosting provider for small businesses this is because they provide unbelievable 24 7 support chat and so if you have zero technical expertise, you're a complete beginner, we recommend checking out Hostpapa, purchasing a domain from them, and then sending the information that we're gonna go through today from your Zoho Mail in order to connect this information with your domain. Okay, so like I mentioned in this tutorial, what we're gonna do is use only domains to connect with Zoho Mail. However, if you decide to go for Hostpapa, then their support team will help you with this process. And if you like, you can also purchase your domain name from any provider that you like. The process we're gonna walk you through is the same. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my domain and organization name. And once you've added your existing or new organization domain name, and you've added your organization's name down here, come down and click add. Then navigate over to proceed to domain verification. And then up here, we want to make sure that this recommended method is selected. Add a text record in the DNS. So basically what we need to do here is copy the text name and the text value over here and add this as a new record for our new domain. So we're going to use the text name as an at and then over here what we're going to do is copy this code here and as you can see that code has been copied and then head over to your domain provider and here we are within our domain provider account using only domains now if you're using only domains as well you can follow this process step by step if you're using a different domain provider then this process is going to be slightly different in terms of finding your dns records However, the process of updating your DNS records is exactly the same. And like I mentioned before, if you decided to purchase a new domain from Hostpapa, then what you can do is simply enable the chat and simply send them the information that we're about to go through for them to set this up for you. Okay, so what we're gonna do is navigate over to domains and then come down to my domains and then come down and locate your domain name. This is our domain name, we're gonna click here. And then once you've located your domain name, what we need to do is click DNS settings and navigate down to edit zone records. And here what we wanna do is scroll down and simply add a new record. So what we're gonna do here is navigate across and then come down and select text. Then within host, what we want to do is add the at symbol. Then simply navigate across over to content. And under content, what we want to do is right click and then come down to paste. And we want to paste in the code that we copied earlier from Zoho Mail. Then simply navigate up to add. And just like that, we can head back to our Zoho Mail account. And here back in our Zoho Mail account, what we want to do is head over to Verify Text Record. And just like that, you have now verified your domain ownership. Come down and click Create. And this is where we can go ahead and add up to five users for free to Zoho Mail. As you can see, we have one user. This is myself, stuart at kush.org.nz. This is my business email, and I can add up to five. So to do that, simply navigate up to add, then add your new users by simply adding a first name, last name, username, and password. So I'm gonna go ahead and quickly do that now. And then once you've added your new user's information, you have the option to upload a profile picture of your new user, or you can leave that for them to upload themselves. And then down here, we have the option to keep this enabled, force users to change password on first login. I recommend keeping that selected and then come down and click add. And just like that, I've gone ahead and added one additional user from my organization to Zoho Mail. And as you can see, they have their own professional business email. 
So remember, you can add up to five users completely for free, including yourself. Simply navigate up here and click add. And remember, once you've created a new user, what you wanna do is send that new user their new username and new password so that they can log in to their new Zoho email. Then once you've added all your users, come down and click proceed to set up groups. And this is where we can set up email groups. Simply click create your first group now. And these are emails that specific groups within your organization will receive. For example, you could have a support group email, a sales group email, offers group email. There are many different types of group emails that you can create based on your business requirements. Simply navigate up to group name, group email address, and group description and add those details. We're gonna go ahead and quickly do that now. And up here, you can see that we've named our new group called support. Below that, we've got our group email address, which is support at kush.org.nz. The group description is this is our client support email group. So basically, when a client sends an email to this email here, you can see that everyone in our organization will receive this email. Or what you can do is select group members and then come down and click proceed. You can also add a profile picture for this group if you like. We're gonna come down and click proceed. And this is where you can add those members to this group. So I'm gonna go ahead and click add and then come down and click add all organization users just because we only have two users in our organization at the moment. So I'm gonna come down and click create. And as you can see, our new group email support has two members that can receive emails from this email address. Okay, so once you've added all your email groups, come down and click proceed to DNS mapping. And here, what we need to do is head back to our domain provider and update our MX records. And this will allow us to start receiving emails in Zoho. So what we're gonna do is simply copy this 10 here and then copy this address here. So what I'm gonna do is remember 10 and then navigate over here and click to copy. And as you can see, this address here has been copied. Then what we wanna do is head back to our domain provider. And then down here within our domain provider and DNS settings, again, what we wanna do is come down to new record and add those three MX records. So to do that, what we're gonna do is add the first one by simply clicking on host. And then again, we wanna add the at symbol, then navigate over to records over here and come down and select MX. Then next to content, what we wanna do is paste in the address that we copied by simply right clicking and then coming down to paste. And then over on priority, what we wanna do is add 10. Then simply click add. And now we need to do this two more times. So head back to your Zoho mail and then come down and we've already added the first MX record. So what we wanna do is come down to the second one and click copy. Then what I wanna do is remember 20 as the priority over here and then head back to our domain provider. Then I'm gonna come down and add an at symbol in here again, then navigate over here and select MX. And then like we did earlier, we want to paste in the address that we just copied. And finally add the priority in here, which is 20. Then click add. And then we just need to do that one more time. So head back to your Zoho mail and then down here we want to copy the final MX record. And then remember the priority this time is 50. So I'm gonna head back to my domain provider and then next to new record, I want to add at again, then locate MX record over here, MX. And under content, what I'm gonna do is simply paste in that MX address. And remember the priority this time is 50. And then click add. Now it's important to note that if you have other MX records from other providers on here, so maybe it's an older domain and you've been using a different email provider and you have old MX records, you wanna make sure that you remove those MX records. So what we're gonna do now is head back to our Zoho mail. And then once you've added all three, what we wanna do is simply click verify MX records. 
Now your Emix records can take time to propagate. They can take up to 24 hours. So what you want to do is move on to the next step. Now, if you're still not verified after 24 hours, what you want to do is reach out to your domain provider and just double check the information. Then here, what we need to do is configure our SPF. To do that, what we're going to do is navigate up here and click to copy. Remember, we're going to take this at symbol under text name and then head back to our domain provider. Then come down to new record. And what we want to do here is add the at symbol again then navigate over here and find text, then simply paste in that address here and click add. Then head back to Zoho Mail and come down and click verify SPF record. Then under DKIM record, what we want to do is under text name, we want to come down and copy this and head back to our domain provider and then come down to new record and what we want to do is paste in that value for host then navigate over here and click text record and then head back to Zoho Mail and copy the value. I'm going to navigate up here and click copy and then head back to our domain provider and then paste in that value here and click add. And now we can head back to our Zoho Mail and then come down and click proceed to email migration. And this is where we have the option to migrate data from our previous email services that we've used in the past. If we navigate up here and click start data migration, and for example, if we used any of these protocols or applications, we can go ahead and migrate that information over to Zoho Mail. However, we're not going to do that. So if you want to migrate data from your previous email services, you can do that here. Then come down and click proceed to mobile configuration. And this just basically shares that you can go ahead and download Zoho mobile apps. So what we're going to do is come down and click proceed to setup completion. And then navigate over to your inbox by clicking here. And congratulations, just like that, you've completed the initial setup of your Zoho Mail account. You now have a professional business email for free. And remember, you can connect and create up to five separate users with their own professional business emails. So go ahead, dive into your Zoho Mail account and enjoy all the awesome features that Zoho provides. And there we have it guys, that is it for today's comprehensive Zoho Mail tutorial for small businesses looking to create and set up up to five free business emails with Zoho Mail. Now, if you have any questions about Zoho Mail, make sure to pop those down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And that way I'll see you next time. Take care guys.